Welcome back guys to another GTA video and in today's one we are off Yeti hunting. Yes we are going to collect that Yeti outfit for ourselves so let's jump on the Mark 2 because that's going to be a lot easier. <laughs> I may have caused a slight tail back. That's actually pretty cool man. <laughs> and leaving that tail back well behind as we are off to the first location right here. This is the first of five locations, all of which are within that grade circle on your map. The first one is the decapitated body parts lying under this broken tree. And all you have to do is walk up to it, press right on the D-pad to investigate the body parts. And once you've done that, you can press right again to exit. Once you've done that, you will receive 10,000 GTA dollars. And that is the first clue collected. The second location is at this point right here and to get the Yeti hunt actually triggered you do need to receive a text message from Tanner but coming up close to this area you will get that text message but getting back to this second clue it is in fact this bloodied shirt lying next to the wrecked car in the ditch here so once again we're pressing right on the d-pad to investigate the clue and once we've done that, we can press right again to exit, and that is the second clue collected. Ah, once the Yeti hunt has been sure. triggered, you can oh, collect man. these clues at any point throughout the day. Here is the location for the third of those clues, and it is the campsite on top of the hilltop here, and it is in fact the bloodied tent at the campsite so once again pressing right on the d-pad to investigate the clue and again once you've done that right on the d-pad to complete that investigation moving on to the next location and it is at this point here this one is an actual vehicle that has rolled off the road underneath the bridge and as before Walking up to it, you will get the prompt to press right on the D-pad to investigate the car wreck. Again, once you've done that, you can press right on the D-pad once again to exit. And we can then move on to the final clue. The last clue to investigate is located right on the riverbank at this location here. This clue is in fact the body of a dead deer which has the scratch marks from the Yeti after being attacked by it. So once again, we are walking up to it. Once we get the prompt, we can press right on the D-pad to investigate the clue. And again, once we've investigated that, we can press right on the D-pad to leave. We then also get the notification that we have located all five clues and to return at night to continue searching the area for the unknown creature. So coming back, we get the notification that the Yeti is after us. It does then pop up on the mini-map, as you'll see here. And he did in fact give me a bit of a scare. <gasps> oh, it's coming! Oh, I just seen that. <laughs> because I was so close to the edge of the, the greyed out circle, I was expecting them to come from the other direction, not from behind me. So a bit of a jump right there, but we did in fact get them taken out and we get the notification through that we got the Yeti outfit and also 50,000 GTA dollars credited to our account. But jumping back into one of my apartments, we can then go and put on that outfit and you go to saved outfits and festive outfits and at the bottom that is where you will find it this is in fact quite a cool looking skin to have and you do get a good number of glitches with it with popping on different heads and hats and things like that so go and test it out but there you have it guys that is it from me for today if you did enjoy the video or did find it useful do leave a like and if you are new here, why not consider subscribing? Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.